need that, can ya? Hey guys, uh, welcome to hopefully uh, part one of a few part series of Unpro Adventures. Um, we're on our way to Morton Island, but we've got a couple of stops in between. This will be the first one. Uh, this is called The Drip, just outside of uh, Golgong, Newland. Um, we're on our way to Gloucester today. Going to stay there for a couple of nights, get some drawers fitted to the uh, new patrol. Then we're going to make our way to... Um, What's it called? Peak, Peak, oh. Peak Crossing, yeah, Peak Crossing. Uh, I'm gonna get a snorkel fitted to the <laughs> patrol as well. So, a bit of a fitment trip, but I'm gonna stop at a few places in between, but this is definitely one on the list, guys, if you haven't been here. It's yeah. just off the side of the road and it's definitely worth the walk, so, yeah. Anyway, we'll keep getting into it and see what we can come up with. Okay, so this is the drip, right there, all the uh, water from the top drips down, which is dripping on me now. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to go and have a swim I think, well I am anyway, it's too nice. On your way. <laughs> what was that? As <laughs> long as it's not a bigger lizard <laughs> of a slithery type. Glad I got you to go first. Yeah. Devil, oh. Devil's look out. Pretty good. Yeah. Probably can't hear that on the camera, but it might be wind noise on the camera, but we can hear water. That's not wind, because it's not that windy up here, so... 
and it's definitely water in it. Yeah. That's a big definitely water. Waterfall. Definitely a big waterfall over there. If only we had more time to have a look around here, but again we don't. So. And it's gone cold. Oh, feeling it a bit, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, we've probably got one more waterfall. No. Um, Gummy Falls. So we might have a quick look at that, and then we better get the Gloucester, I think, because it's getting a little bit late. Okay guys, um, we're all pretty well set up, um, we're at Gloucester, so we get the drifter drawers fitted tomorrow morning, 7.30, so a bit of a hassle, I've got to pull everything out of the car um, to do that, and we had to sort of pack everything in the trailer to do that, so it is a bit of a nuisance, the first, um, first stop off, but yeah, anyway, it is what it is, so we'll get there once we get the drawers in, and we'll be able to repack all them, and everything will be pretty accessible and stuff, but... This is the river, and um, yeah, camps on the just back up there. It's like a what, 30 meter walk to the river. So I can see us after the draws are done tomorrow. Though, if it's sunny and warm enough, I can be sitting down here with my chair, I reckon, yep. in the water. Beautiful. Okay, well, we're gonna go make a bit of a quick tea up. We've got some pre made up chicken and stuff like that. So we're gonna call it a night, and um, yeah, early start tomorrow. Early start tomorrow, we'll be out at uh, Drifter to get the drawers fitted. So We'll see you then. Yeah, morning guys. Um, up pretty early this morning. Just heading out to Drifter. So, yeah, we'll get out there. Um, they'll fit our drawers and yeah, bang, we'll spend the afternoon repacking them. So, should be good, pretty excited as, a, as an understatement. Can't wait to get them in there. It just makes it so much easier to operate and stuff. So, yeah, we'll uh, head out there now and see what's happening. Hey guys, just got the new drawers back from Drifter. Back at the caravan park. Um, yeah, pretty happy. Real happy to be honest. Um, so, how they set up, we've got the table obviously, that's the most that's the most common common thing for Drifter drawers. That's pretty much why most people buy them, I think. Um, this is a fridge box, so that goes around. So, if we go here, they've just got bungee straps all the way around. And that whole box, this whole box here, will um, come off. Now, to the uh, to the extra box. So it's like a three. It's called a three-in-one modular. If anyone's interested, um, this box here also comes off. Now they told me it is screwed in, so you have to remove the drawer out of the carcass, and yeah, just take a couple of screws out and yeah it will remove away so all this will be gone and you can take the this one here off as well like i just said before and you can drop this panel here this panel here will go straight in to here so i'll have a full flat setup and i've got another drawer here now this here is the actual fridge slide so it's been used as a drawer slide at the minute so i, I can take that out and then put my fridge in and then the draw that draw goes out you don't use it so i'll um i've got the fridge just sitting over here running off the trailer it's inside the uh nx there the 230 and we'll put that we'll put that in here and um and get it running and show you what it's like with the fridge on there and stuff like that so yeah anyway i'm not going to pull pull it apart or show too much of it here i might do something something separate on that later but yeah that's that's where we are with it. Oh, 
Right, oh, we're all done at Drifter. Um, drawers are in, fridge is in, everybody's happy. Um, yeah, can't be more happier. So good, fits in nice. That drawer comes off if it wants to at the table. Yeah, we're all good. So we're loaded. We're ready to go, aren't we? <laughs> We've just been to the uh, it's been to the shop. Spent a little bit of money. So. Anyway, we're onwards, we're going to do the uh, Thunderbolts way, so just a tar road, we're going to have a look at a few campgrounds on the way and see where we end up. Uh, a bit of a late start this morning, so we'll go grab a pie, we'll grab a pie, and yeah, hit the road, so let's do it. So it's like what a two minute walk from um, from camp and we are pretty well at the falls. Ooh, geez, looks deep. Um, this is the <laughs> spot where Rita Tapping. taps out. <laughs> which is fair enough. If you don't like heights, oh my God. you don't like heights. So yeah. It's a full bridge out onto the uh, top of the waterfall. So <laughs> here we go. <laughs> you gotta hang there? Yeah, I think so. Okay. This is my limit. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> Good I'll, uh, I'll concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So you're at the top of the waterfall here. Oh. Wowzers. But yeah, that's, um, that's the top there. And there she goes over there. I'll see if I can get out here and... Yeah, so that's the top of the waterfall there. Wow. Yeah, I'm not I'm not super great with heights either, so That'll probably do it for the film and I'm just going to stand here and take it all in for a while. Hey guys, um, early start this morning on the road by 7.30ish. Uh, not too much film on today, we've got a big day of travel. Uh, Fatwids wants my car there first thing tomorrow morning, so we're only near Armadale, we've got to get to just below Ipswich, Peak Crossing, so about six hours today, so we better start hooking in and um, we may stop at One National Park on the way. We'll see how we go, so we'll go get into it.
Whew. Well, a little bit of a walk to get here, but um, yeah, that's um, it's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> um, it does balance. Yeah, it's Steve. I'm just going to do that little platform near that grass area. Is that's as far as I'm going? <laughs> What about you, Rita? What are you doing? I'm staying right here. Well, yeah. <laughs> top footing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, it's got these little, these little white dots. I'll follow them. So, you know, I'll All go right. and do ten minutes up here. Have fun. I will. Okay. Well, that's about as far as I'm going. Um, we just don't have the time to do this one and whew, I don't think I'm fit enough to be honest. Um, it is super steep. That's just pointing straight down so getting down is probably going to be more fun than coming up. But yeah, Cool spot. Yeah so just, um, just, just coming back down the hill now. It's steep hey. It just, um, Borderline stopping yourself from having to run, eh? That's how steep it is. So I wouldn't want to know what it's like up further. But, um, yeah. Would definitely come back here and probably camp and have a crack at doing the whole thing. Cool. Righto, well, we're going to hit the road. I'm nearly back down now. There's Rita. She's down there. And um, I'll follow my white dots and we'll get out of here. Hey guys, uh, pulled up for the night. And yeah, we are staying in some dongers. Uh, reason being, we um, I'm getting a snorkel fitted tomorrow at Fatwoods. Uh, not that that's got much to do with it, but we have to leave really early um to get to morton island to get on the um barge so i think got to be on by about seven o'clock or something like that so we're about an hour and a bit away so we'll probably have to leave at 5 30 so we don't really want to be you know packing a camp up or you know stressing about anything like that so we're gonna be on the island for six nights three camping and three in the resort actually so that'll be good and yeah so we're just gonna have the trailer ready to go to do the three nights camping um yeah, so full of water, all that sort of stuff, full of food, um, everything like that. So, anyway, that's the reason why we're staying in these dongers. So these dongers here. This is our five-star accommodation. <laughs> what do you think? It's all right. It's all right? Mm, it's got air conditioning. Yeah, it's real good. Free spiders. No, no spiders. Not yet. Just a few spider webs, but the doors are pretty sealable, so. I'm going to have to sleep next to you tonight, that's a plus. <gasps> Whatever. Yeah, anywho, so this is our little donger, so we'll be able to just pretty well get up, throw our bedding straight in the car, and up and um, the car will be hooked on, and we'll go straight to Morton. So. Yeah, that's us. Um, Probably won't do too much filming, I'll probably film at Fabwoods maybe, I don't know, there won't be too much going on here. It is a nice spot, like I must say, it's just for low Ipswich, about 30 k's out of Ipswich, and it's pretty good, so. Yeah, but like the park itself just, yeah, the park itself is just crazy, so much room. Uh, I just got one, one guy camped over here, and it's all these real nice mountains around us, so, uh, yeah. Real good. Yeah, hi guys. Um, bit of an exciting one this morning. Heading to Fatwoods to get the uh, five-inch um, stainless snorkel, black snorkel, low cut, put on the patrol. So yeah, pretty excited. They're apparently giving me a loan car. I don't know what it'll be. Hopefully it's a GU patrol or something. But <laughs> anyway, um, head there today. Get that done. Um, we'll go get all stocked up, ready for Morton and. Um, yeah, hopefully a bit of sand action coming up soon, so should be good. Well guys, that's the snorkel all done and fitted. A big thanks to Corey and Emma from Fabwitz Industries on a job well done. Thanks guys, much appreciated. Well, we hit Morton Island next, we tackle some soft sand and some
pink tides, as well as enjoying a few nice sunsets and cooking a few feeds. Then we head to the resort and feed some dolphins, as well as doing a couple of laps around the island and seeing what it has to offer. Well, thanks guys and hope to see you in the next one.